I'm Marcus North and welcome to my hometown. I'll never forget it, it was um, Poseidon Primary School in the northern suburbs of, of Perth and um, you know they had the, the concrete nets out, out in the park there so that was when I kind of I guess first discovered cricket. Um, used to drag uh, mum and dad down the nets to throw a few balls at me and yeah, look, some great memories. Like any family, I reckon, in Australia, we love the backyard games of cricket. Dad loved to, to play the game as, as mum, so we're all involved as a family. And, and obviously, your, your next door neighbours or your mates would come around and have a bit of a game. And we had a, we were lucky enough to have a family pool, which is always good. You know, the specky diving catches into the water. So um, yeah, there was a lot of happy memories growing up playing cricket. So I used to, you know, always try and bat, probably like Steve Waugh a little bit, but um, yeah, or, or be Tim May bowling or. Um, Merv Hughes running in bowling, we used to tape up one side of the tennis ball and, and try and get those big swingers, but yeah, it was always, I guess, uh, Australia versus England back in, back in my days and I was lucky enough to try and be Australian most of the time. I guess I started playing on a Saturday morning um, when I was 10 years old, I think it was, so I got the, the white shorts on and the white top and went down and played a bit of cricket on the, on the Saturday morning, which was great. And, and then obviously from primary school, I went to a, a high school called Kent Street Senior High School here in the city, and which um, was quite unique. It it's had a specialised in a cricket course. Um, so it was pretty attractive. It was, I had to travel 45 minutes to an hour every day to get to school. Um, but you know, each, I think it was about four, four lessons a, a week were at cricket. So, you know, around your maths or English or geography, you go out in the nets and, you know, have a bit of a hit. Well, I've always loved, you know, having a kick of the footy, but yeah, cricket's something I've just, I guess, I kind of realised I had some sort of skill there and I really enjoyed it and I guess like, fell in love with the game and, and just continued to work hard. I had great support from, from my family who really encouraged me to, to put a bit of time into it, which you, you need to do at any sport, I guess, and, you know, thankfully it's, it's worked out well and I've, I've been very fortunate to, to have a career in cricket. Senior cricket, I, I remember, I was, I was pretty young, I was playing under 13s and under 15s of, of district cricket and I think I was 15 or 16 when I played my first A grade game. I, I never forget I, I replaced Michael Hussey, we played at the same club and he got caught up for a state game halfway through a, a, a first grade game and I replaced him so um, yeah it was, it was you know, pretty intimidating being such a young kid and, and playing with, with the adults but um, yeah look ever, ever since then it's it's been great to play at the highest level you, you can at, at that stage and obviously playing A grade cricket for Wanneroo was, was pretty good at, you know, great, great experience at such a young age. Yeah, I remember the first time I walked down the Wacker it was against Victoria and, and uh, I got my first run off Matthew Innes, who was um, you know, one of the opening bowlers back then and just pushed it into the covers for one, I'll never forget that and we still talk about that, 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 that game, we, we just scraped first innings points in but um, yeah, look, obviously the memories of you know, your first big games, A grade, first class cricket is, is um, something you never forget. It's just one of those, those great cities that is pretty laid back and I, I think that's probably me, I'm a pretty laid back character and uh, nothing that you, normally bothers me too much and I guess Perth is, has that environment to it, it's always got beautiful weather and beautiful beaches and just a real relaxed environment and, and obviously just growing up here has, has been fantastic and, and obviously having uh, you know, been playing for WA for such a long time. Um, it's one of those states that you know you can't help being loyal to, and I guess there's a lot of opportunities to, to go and play cricket all over Australia. But you know, Perth's a special place for me and my family, and you know, my heart and soul is certainly here. The last 10 months has been fantastic playing for Australia and playing in some pretty intimidating environments in South Africa and, and obviously in the UK. And it's been nice to play a few games at, at home, but I think. It's going to be pretty special walking out here in front of your family and friends and I guess also the loyal WA cricket supporters who have supported me uh, tremendously well over the last 10 years um, to kind of walk out of the whacker and where I've played so much cricket and the place that I, you know, I call home, um, you know, it's going to be pretty special.